Hi, I'm Lorna from wearablyweird.com and in this video I'll be answering the common query which socks are best to wear with Doc Martens. Now it's crucial to wear the right socks with Docs to avoid those painful blisters but also to make sure the boots are super comfy to wear and that they're not going to end up discarded in the back of your closet and your money is wasted on them. Now, I'm a long-term customer and fan of the Doc Martens brand. I've been wearing and breaking in their boots for over 15 years, and I have the ankle scars to prove it. As you can see here, this is my ankle scar from trying to break in my very first pair of Doc Martens with incorrect socks, and there's just a lot of discoloration. It's unsightly, and I really wish I'd got the best pair of socks I could when breaking in my first pair, but you live and you learn. Ever since I got those ankle scars from breaking in those first pair of docks, I've been super cautious about what kind of socks I wear with my boots and I'm going to share all my recommendations here to make sure that you don't end up with scars like me. I find it's best just to take the plunge and invest in a really good quality pair of tough socks like these Fox River wick dry military grade socks if you want to avoid those nasty blisters. Now, I'm not sponsored by Fox River or anything. These are just my genuine opinions. I've owned multiple pairs of these socks over the years and so has my fiance. And we both find that whenever we're breaking in like Dot Martins or any kind of tough boots, they're our go-to socks. We both really love them. My thinking is they're military socks. If they can handle military boots, they can handle Dot Martins. I've linked them in the description for you so you can go check them out yourself and have a little read about them. But as a summary, they're made with really good quality materials, they're moisture wicking, thermoregulating, and they have that non-slip design, which I really love in socks, that helps prevent blisters because it stops the socks from like bunching up at your ankles and creating all that rubbing. In general though, when you're looking to get a pair of socks to wear with your Dot Martens, you wanna look for moisture wicking. That's super important because it helps repel moisture away from your feet. Moisture is what causes rubbing and the blisters, so moisture wicking properties help breathability, help keep your feet fresh and dry, and really help stop all that painful chafing. Next, I would say choosing socks of a really high quality material, like wool, these are a wool blend, really helps because it helps create a tough layer between your feet and the boots. Extra cushioning on socks is really good to look for too, so if you can find any that have cushioning at the toes or the heels, grab those. I would highly suggest avoid wearing thin cotton or acrylic socks like these, just like a regular pair of socks. Your feet are gonna get shredded. These aren't gonna provide any protection at all. They're just too thin. I would also suggest if you don't wanna get military socks or heavy duty work boot socks, and you're looking for something a little bit cheaper, check out blister guard socks. Blister guard socks work really well. I mean, it's literally in the name, blister guard and I've linked a good pair of Blisgard socks in the description for you, but a lot of brands like Shoals offer socks like these. If you're still unsure about what kind of socks to get, I have a huge post on my blog where I compare six different socks and rate which brand is best for use with Doc Martens. There are multi-pack options, budget-friendly options, and that's all linked in the description for you. Overall though, here are the rules to follow when choosing socks to pair with your Doc Martens. Go for high quality socks, high quality materials, heavy duty work boot socks, military socks, blister guard socks. These things are going to really help prevent the blisters. Look for moisture wicking and completely avoid thin socks with your dogs until they're properly broken in. Now it's worth noting, socks alone aren't going to work miracles. You need to properly break in your Doc Martens for complete pain relief. I actually have a Doc Martens breaking guide video up here which should help you with that, with all my best tips and advice. Good luck.